Hello everyone, Dan Hurd with Dan Hurd Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here at my ocean picture stone quarry and I've got a couple specific tasks I need to do today. Grab a couple of specific rocks for a specific person and I'm running out of premium stone. I gotta go down to the main seam and see if I can get some more of that amazing premium stone. So wish me luck and I hope you enjoy. Now it's still early in the morning here. I left the house ridiculously early this morning with the sun just rising because it's gonna be a 40 degrees Celsius day today. That's something close to 100 Fahrenheit. That's hot. So I'm out here early to get my tasks done and get out of here before the heat really hits. It's a bit smoky out there. There's a lot of forest fires in BC these days, but still a beautiful day. Now here's the first rock I have to grab. I had a client, a person, a reseller of stones say, Dan, I want some just straight blue rock. So I knew of this rock here that I had, 100, maybe even 200 pounds of straight blue, almost no host. I just dragged it from whoo, over there somewhere with the truck, just dragged it over into the shade where I can start loading it into the back of the truck. Now that's too heavy for me to lift. So first thing I'm gonna do is there's some host over on one side. I've already started bashing away a bit of it. I'm gonna knock off the host, get it to a more manageable size rock. Then I'm gonna put it onto a board, strap it down to a board. I've got the ATV ramps. I'm gonna to try to winch it into the back of the truck up the ramps. Let's see if this works. Now there's a flaw right through there. I'm gonna see if I can knock just this chunk of host. It's not all host, it's got some blue, but the person that wanted it just wanted straight blue. So let's take the host off first. It's a coming. There we go. Ooh, really nice chips for my chip bags. Get that piece of host out of there. Maybe knock off some of the blue for chip bags. There we go. So my plan here is to get that rock onto that board. Get that board sliding up those two by fours onto the ATV ramps and into the back of the truck. And the force I need to get that moving is gonna come from a come along attached to some straps inside the back of the box. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's give it a shot. Well, I had to manhandle it part of the way up. Couldn't get the cable out properly on the come along. It's uh, kind of jammed in there, but this will work. Strap across the back of the truck, come along. Should be able to winch it right up, mostly onto the tailgate. Hopefully when I get part way there, I can just push it the rest of the way. Otherwise I'll have to move the come along up to the next set of hold downs in the truck and winch it right in. Okay, now load up the stuff from here and drive down to the lower pit because that's where the premium material is. Well, here I am at the lower pit, the site of the most amazing premium ocean picture stone absolutely amazing. Now before I continue, before I show you what I'm going to break off, the premium material I'm going to take, I have to answer a question. I had a video not long ago where I was just showing, it was a short, it was just me breaking off a piece of ocean picture stone, opening it up and showing the blue. Millions of views on both YouTube and Facebook. I had hundreds if not thousands of comments saying, hey Dan, what about that big blue rock in the background? That guy! Well, 
I do know my claim very well, and I know that that rock is there, and I know I've been ignoring it. I've been ignoring it on purpose. It's because the blue is just a sheet, a thin sheet on the surface, and it's all fractured up. It's not a usable lapidary rock. It would make a great garden rock, and someday if I need more garden rocks to sell, I'll take that one. But for now, it stays here just as a pretty reminder in the pit. A lot of people thought I was missing it, or I was fooling people somehow because it was back there. I'm not sure what it was. I know it's there. It's just not a very good rock. Beautiful color, but just a thin layer and fractured up. And I know this is where everyone's going to comment, well, you can send it to me. No, <laughs> I'd much rather go and harvest some of the premium material than spend my time trying to haul that one out. In fact, there's lots of mediocre rocks all around my claim that someday I might do something with. But for now, I have to spend my time harvesting the premium stone that everyone wants to buy. All these other great stones all around someday may make a great lapidary stone. But for now, I can't spend my time on them when I have beautiful things like that and this whole base here to work with. In fact, there's a really neat rock here I found. It's a translucent green chalcedony. Now, I looked into green chalcedonies with translucent, and I only came up with bloodstone and, what's it called, chirophrase? Something like that. It doesn't look like either of those. But if you know what translucent green chalcedony is called, I've actually found some on my claim here. Let me know in the comments below. Now, let's show you what I'm actually here to get today. The premium seam down here is fantastic. Whites, blues, reds, it's amazing and it's big. So what I wanna do here is slab off with feather and wedges, take one great big slab off that whole face that I can take with me today, start cutting it up into premium pieces. And of course, if you ever wanna buy any of my ocean picture stone, I sell it on my website, www.danherdprospecting.com. So today I brought the generator and the big hammer drill to drill my holes along this whole face. I'm going to come back about a foot. I'm going to drill, I don't know, seven or eight holes along the face, put the feather and wedges in there, see how much I can split off. Well, there we go. Seven holes for seven feather and wedges. And let's see what I can break off. Now, if you wanna know what these feather and wedge things are, I explained them in many of my previous videos at this quarry. I also have a video entirely dedicated to feather and wedges, what they are and how to use them. Check it out on my channel. Now I don't expect this to crack off in one piece because there's already horizontal fractures going back into it. I'm just hoping by doing it this way I get a couple of really big pieces, some nice, you know, show pieces to come out of here. Well, let's get hammering. Come on, baby. I see cracks are forming. I hear pops are popping.
Okay, let's see what the first few pieces hold. We've got something loose. Let's see what's in there. The first reveal. Oh, not much. It's actually a beautiful piece. It's just, it has a inclusion on one side. Beautiful piece. Oh yeah. Amazing piece. Oh, wow. Premium ocean picture stone. I'm out of water again. I need to bring more water. Oh yeah. Come on, water, water. There's uh, enough to show that off. Well, damn, another broken chisel. <sighs> and the big one. Maybe. All these small pieces make up my chip bags. There's a pound of premium right there. Buy a pound of premium, that's the kind of stuff you get. What a perfect ocean scene. Okay, here we go with the big piece of the day. Here we go. How excited are we? Oh yeah! Where's the water? Look at the blue on that. Wow. And more broken off at the bottom too. I got another big chunk at the bottom. Love it. Well, that much premium material will definitely last us a few months, but we still have to harvest enough this summer and fall to last all winter long. So I will work on the rest of that seam as well. Damn, that's heavy. So let's see what else came loose with that break. There we go, there's a nice one. Ooh, lots of chips. Lots of beautiful chips. That's a beautiful blue, that one. Well there, we've got 200 pounds of mid to low grade. Uh, the guy's buying it in bulk, so that's gonna be about $2,000, about $10 a pound for bulk low grade. We have about 300 pounds of premium stone at $75 a pound. That makes a pretty good payday right there. And probably about 40 to 50 pounds of chips. Good day at the mine. I'm happy. I'm gonna leave off here with some pictures of ocean picture stone from my quarry. This is beautiful stuff, including some finished products. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my adventure today at my BC Ocean Picture Stone Quarry. If you want to learn more about this quarry, this rock, what I do up here, I have lots more videos on my channel from this exact spot, and I explain it all. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thanks everyone for watching. A special thanks to my patrons. Because of the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Herd Prospecting. Hope you're all having an amazing day. I am, even though it's really hot, and I need water. And until the next video, everyone, bye.